No currency in history has ever experienced death due to deflation. However, numerous currencies have met their demise as a result of inflation, specifically hyperinflation. Despite the United States government's fiscal irresponsibility and the reckless monetary policies of the Federal Reserve, it may appear absurd to suggest that the U.S. dollar is poised for significant growth and strength. Nevertheless, it is important to understand that currency strength is a relative gain, implying that an increase in the dollar's value signifies a decrease in the value of other currencies. Moreover, available data indicates that this is indeed the trajectory the dollar is on, as it is expected to surge in the near future. To further comprehend this, let's examine both the short-term and medium to long-term prospects. Shown here is a chart displaying the US dollar index, which measures the dollar against a group of other currencies. Since the start of 2021, the dollar has consistently strengthened, reaching its peak in September 2022. However, it has since remained somewhat range-bound and volatile. Below the chart, a purple section reveals the Relative Strength Index, RSI, one of several technical indicators. For those unfamiliar with technical analysis, fear not, we will not delve into complex concepts today. Instead, it is sufficient to grasp that technical analysis involves examining and recognizing visual patterns on a chart based on group behavior. It is about deciphering the consensus value of an asset, comprising potential buyers and sellers' collective decisions. Occasionally, a pattern emerges as a result of this group behavior. The RSI is an indicator that indicates potential overbought or oversold conditions. By zooming in on the chart, we can observe that the last time the RSI exceeded 70, it signified a top in the dollar index. The indicator suggested that the dollar was overbought, and indeed, a decline followed. Conversely, the last occurrence of an oversold RSI preceded a bottom in the dollar index, triggering a subsequent rally. Currently, in the short term, the dollar is approaching oversold territory. Unfortunately for those hoping for the dollar's downfall, it seems that the future of the dollar, both in the near and long term, is just as optimistic, if not more so, than the short term. By conservative estimates, there is approximately $65 trillion in hidden debt globally, with more aggressive estimates suggesting that this number could be well over $100 trillion. What's concerning is that this debt is denominated in dollars. To understand how we got here, we need to look back to the post, World War II era, when the global gold standard collapsed. Most European countries had exhausted their gold reserves and weren't keen on starting from scratch. The United States, on the other hand, possessed a substantial amount of gold. As a result, other countries decided to peg their paper currency to the dollar, making it redeemable for paper dollars as the US dollar was still backed by gold at the time. This arrangement created a high demand for dollars worldwide, turning the US into the de facto central bank. The United States, benefiting from this arrangement, sent out vast quantities of US dollars across the globe whenever it engaged in international trade. Now, the operational mechanics of banks are similar in different countries, including the U.S. When a bank receives a dollar, it loans it out, and the cycle continues as the receiving bank loans it out to another entity. In the U.S., the Federal Reserve oversees all the banks, closely monitoring every transaction and having access to comprehensive data. Additionally, the Federal Reserve can intervene and bail out a troubled bank by injecting money into it. However, the Federal Reserve's authority is limited to U.S. banks alone, it lacks oversight and control over banks in other countries. This means that the $65 trillion in global debt mentioned earlier is beyond the jurisdiction of the Federal Reserve. While other countries have their own central banks, these banks do not possess the power to do what the Federal Reserve can do, print U.S. dollars. And it is worth noting that the $65 trillion debt is predominantly in the form of dollar-denominated debt. This entire system, as described, is known as the euro dollar system. The euro dollar system is the accumulation of dollars that have been sent overseas over the years and then rehypothecated, meaning they are deposited and loaned out repeatedly. There is no central bank or organization overseeing these dollar deposits and loans across various banks in different countries and continents. As a result, the actual size of this dollar debt pile remains unknown. If you have any type of dollar debt, such as a mortgage, credit card debt, or an auto loan, you need dollars to repay it. This principle applies to dollar debt holders worldwide. Institutions, banks, and individuals who owe dollars must acquire dollars to settle their debts. Additionally, 
debt requires ongoing payments, even if it's an interest-only loan. Consequently, the existence of the dollar $60 to $100 trillion debt pile creates a constant demand for dollars globally to service this debt. Now let's delve in the impact of rising interest rates. As rates climb, borrowers, whether individuals or institutions, face a dilemma. Should they acquire new debt, which comes with higher costs, to repay the existing debt? Alternatively, they can attempt to settle their current debt using their current income. Regardless of the chosen approach, it is inevitable that dollars will exit circulation. An increase in interest rates prompts borrowers to reassess their financial strategies. This may result in reduced borrowing, as taking on new debt becomes more expensive. Additionally, individuals and institutions may prioritize paying off existing debts using their income, leading to a decrease in the availability of dollars for other purposes. Notably, a decline in available dollars can have far-reaching implications. It can impact stock markets, bond values, and even the purchasing power of cash due to inflation. This is particularly relevant now, as fraudulent platforms like Sandbank and Freed have siphoned off funds, leading investors to seek alternative stores of value like gold and Bitcoin. However, many investors face limitations due to their retirement accounts, which typically don't permit investing in assets like gold or Bitcoin. Fortunately, iTrust Capital offers a solution by allowing individuals to open new retirement accounts or transfer existing ones to access alternative assets. Let's break this down further to better understand the concept. Debt is intricately tied to the creation and destruction of money. When someone deposits a dollar into a bank account, the bank can then loan that same dollar out to someone else. In this scenario, both the depositor and the borrower now have a claim to that dollar. This process multiplies the number of dollars in circulation. As long as not everyone withdraws their money simultaneously, both individuals maintain a dollar each, despite the fact that it was created from a single deposit. By extending loans, new dollars are effectively created. Conversely, when debts are paid off, money exits circulation. Imagine selling a product and receiving income in dollars. If you use this income to pay off your debt, the person who paid you no longer has those dollars, and you no longer have them in your bank account. Simultaneously, the debt is settled, eliminating the outstanding balance on the bank's records. Thus, money is effectively removed from circulation when debts are paid. Now let's explore the issue at hand. Interest rates are rising due to an increase in inflation. Governments worldwide are increasing their spending and borrowing, leading to a universal rise in interest rates, primarily for the US dollar. This trend makes it more challenging and costly to sustain a substantial amount of debt as it absorbs more income from circulation. Should you desire to repay your debt, even more income will need to be eliminated. In either case, the overall quantity of dollars in circulation is reduced. As the supply of dollars dwindles, the value of the currency increases relative to other goods and services. A prime example of this is seen in the consequences of excessive money printing in 2020 when trillions of dollars were distributed. As a result, money became more abundant and the relative value of each dollar decreased. Conversely, if the money supply were to shrink and become scarce, the value of each dollar would rise. This would result in a decrease in the price of goods and services, as fewer dollars would be required to obtain the same amount of goods. Considering the combination of rising interest rates and the substantial hidden pile of dollar debt worldwide, a scenario is created where dollars potentially disappear from circulation. Whether this debt is being serviced, rolled over, paid off, or defaulted on, we have assembled the necessary ingredients for a reduction in the number of dollars in circulation. These components have been mixed together and are currently awaiting the outcome. However, it is important to note that this event may not occur in the immediate future. Therefore, it is crucial to understand the complex dynamics between debt, money creation, and its impact on the overall economy. The interplay between these factors can potentially shape the value of currencies and the overall cost of goods and services. Throughout history, the pattern of deleveraging has consistently followed periods of levering up. The increase in leverage results in a faster and more intense deleveraging process. While the Federal Reserve can easily print more dollars to counteract the deleveraging within the United States, it faces limitations when trying to do so globally. Although other central banks hold some dollar reserves, they are insufficient to handle a global crisis. In such a scenario, central banks would rely on swap lines established with the Federal Reserve. 
These swap lines allow central banks to exchange assets for dollars to inject into their own economies in response to a banking collapse or deflationary spiral. The consequence of this exchange would be a conversion of the world's dollar debt into actual dollars, resulting in an instant leveraging without any negative impact. Financial institutions worldwide would suddenly have a surplus of cash with no liabilities. The likely outcome? Unprecedented inflation. In summary, the dollar is expected to strengthen in both the short and medium to long term. This is due to the constant demand for dollars resulting from the massive amount of dollar debt globally and the increasing deficits of the U.S. government, which drive up interest rates and make the debt more expensive. As dollars become scarcer, their value increases. Consequently, other players in the global economy face greater difficulties obtaining dollars. If this continues, a deleveraging process begins, defaults occur, and players realize that the dollars in their accounts are merely IOUs. The potential for inflation arises when large-scale intervention, such as printing and distributing $65 trillion worth of dollars globally, is implemented to counteract the deleveraging. Only then would the inflationary trend be reversed, resulting in a surge of inflation unlike anything seen before. It is important to note that predicting the exact timing and nature of market movements is impossible. This is why it is crucial to make small bets on significant market moves. While most bets will be incorrect, the few profitable ones will outweigh the losses. Many people experience continuous losses in their investments or trades because they commit too much of their portfolio at the wrong time, leading to irreparable losses. Thank you for watching and have a great day.